Just begin the practice period by getting comfortable in your body. Maybe it's sitting in a relaxed posture on a chair or on a cushion or lying down. Any posture is fine, but establish a comfortable position for your body. Really allow your body to be at ease. From that comfortable posture, allow your body to relax. If there's any muscular tension in your body, maybe in your face or your jaw, your shoulders, your arms or your legs, see if you can relax. Let that relax. In this comfortable, relaxed posture, Bring a gentle, easy smile to your face. These are the three physical qualities that we wanna establish at the beginning of any metta practice period. We wanna have a comfortable position in the body, relaxation, letting go of any muscular tension, and a gentle, easy smile on our face. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. Doesn't have to be an extreme smile, but just a gentle, easy, relaxed smile. Allow yourself to settle into that for a moment, letting your body be comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. With this posture, comfortable and relaxed, gentle, easy smile, begin to consider things in your life that you're grateful for. It's gonna be different for everyone. Maybe there's someone that you met recently that you really appreciate. Something new in your life that you're excited to be exploring. Maybe you're grateful for a friend or a family member or a pet.
whatever it is that you're grateful for, reflect on that for a few minutes. Think about it in your mind and let that gratitude impact your body. Maybe considering what you're grateful for lets your smile deepen or brings a sense of warmth into your heart. It just makes you feel a little lighter. If there's any impact on your body, any resonance for you. Really notice and enjoy that. Very good. And having considered what you're grateful for, establish an attitude of love towards yourself. One way to do this is by using mental talk, using a phrase like, I love you. I love you over and over again, directing a sense of love towards yourself. Or you can use several different phrases. I love you so much, and I'm so proud of you. So happy you're doing what you're doing with your life. Really hope that you're happy using spontaneous phrases that resonate for you. See if you can use mental talk to direct love towards yourself in one way or another. Be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind, whether using the same phrase repeatedly 
or spontaneously coming up with different phrases. Be sure that you can hear the mental talk in your mind. I love you. I love you. I love you. Again, notice if this exercise has any resonance for you in your body. If there's any impact on your emotional body, this attitude of love towards self. And if there is an impact, if it makes you feel a sense of warmth or love, care, happiness, gratitude, anything like that, really savor it. Enjoy the afterglow, directing love towards yourself. Let yourself feel that love. See if you can rest in this feeling of love towards yourself. Just another moment. We've taken great care to establish ourselves in this attitude of love, preparing our body that's comfortable and relaxed. 
allowing there to be a gentle, easy smile on her face. Considering what we're grateful for and directing love towards ourselves. In a moment, we'll begin spreading this love, directing it towards others. And in order to direct it to others, we're gonna involve the body. If you'd like, you can Use your hand, physically raising your hand and imagining that this love that you've cultivated is pouring out of your hand. You can visualize it as a golden light or a red light pulsing. Imagine what that would look like if there was love flowing out of your hand. You can imagine it in your mind's eye with your eyes closed, or you can look at your hand if you like. Imagine what it would be like for this love to be flowing out of your body through your hands. If it's uncomfortable to do this with your physical body, you can do it with your imagination. Just continue to use phrases of love. But it can be fun to use your physical body. And having visualized this sense of love flowing out of your hands, imagine that you can direct this love towards others. Begin to move or imagine moving your hand that you're directing it towards others. You can Visualize in your mind the people that you'd like to send this love to and move your hand, either physically or in your mind's eye, to direct it towards people in a way that feels good and natural for you. You can Direct it towards one person repeatedly or towards many different people. This is an imaginal exercise just imaginary, but it can have a real impact on your emotional body as you imagine sending this love to others. And it can increase the amount of joy and love and happiness that you feel emotionally. Just to imagine this, like you're a child playing again. Explore that. What if you could direct love towards others? How would you physically embody that through your hands? You can see the light 
and the love pouring out of your hands as you move them with your body or in your mind's eye. And you can imagine that love reaching the people that you're directing it toward and how that would impact them. The way that they would feel happier, more joyful, more loving as they receive your love and care. Really allow yourself to be playful with this. What kind of motions with your hand will help you to embody this love? What way of visualizing the light and the love pouring out of you will really resonate for you? And who do you wanna direct this love towards? How will it impact them? See if you can connect to a sense of play. As if you're a child again, playing on the playground. However you explore, however you play with this exercise, use it to cultivate a sense of love that you're directing towards others. And as always with metta practice, notice if there's any resonance in the body, any happiness or joy or love that you feel in your emotional body. Really enjoy that. Allow yourself to feel that love, even as you direct it towards others.
Good. As you're ready, you can let go of that. Take a moment to reflect on this experience. Reflect on what it was like to cultivate a sense of gratitude and love, both for yourself and for others. by reflecting intellectually on our experience, we can allow the insights or shifts that we may have had to solidify in our minds and our experiences. So look back on your experience, recalling what it was like for you. All right, nice work, everyone.